we want to evaluate the quadratic expression p squared minus four p plus seven for p equals negative three. So the first step is to perform substitution, which means we replace p with negative three. When performing substitution, it's important to put the value in parentheses. So for the first term p squared, when we substitute negative three, we'll have negative three in parentheses raised to the second power, and then minus four times, again, we'll substitute negative three for p, so have minus four times negative three plus seven. I want to take a moment and emphasize how important it is that we have this negative three in parentheses to interpret this correctly. We know p squared is equal to p times p because we have two factors of p, and that's why it's important to have the negative three in parentheses. If we have the square of negative three, this does give us two factors of negative three, which equals positive nine. If we did not include the parentheses around the negative three and wrote the opposite of three squared, this would be a negative sign and then two factors of positive three, which would give us negative nine, but it's not what we have here when we substitute negative three for p. Now the next step is to evaluate this using the order of operations. We can skip step one because we cannot simplify inside the parentheses or grouping symbols. Step two, we simplify the exponents. Well, we already know that the square of negative three means negative three times negative three or positive nine. So this expression is equal to nine minus four times negative three plus seven. Now we have subtraction, multiplication, and addition. So step three, we multiply and divide from left to right. So we want to perform this multiplication here. So we have nine minus, and then positive four times negative three is negative 12. So we have minus negative 12 plus seven. Notice how here though we do have minus negative 12, which is equivalent to plus positive 12. So let's write this as nine plus 12 plus seven. And a lot of times when we're at this step here, because we have minus four times negative three, we often think of this as just negative four times negative three, which equals positive 12, and therefore we have plus 12. And therefore we can actually skip this step here and just write plus 12. And of course our last step is to add and subtract from left to right. Here we only have addition. Nine plus 12 is equal to 21. 21 plus seven is equal to 28. So the given expression is equal to 28, when p is equal to negative three. Let's look at a second example. We want to evaluate two x squared plus five x minus three for x equals negative six. So again, the first step is to substitute negative six for x in our expression. So we'd have two times the square of negative six plus five times negative six minus three. Again, we can skip the first step. We cannot simplify inside the parentheses or grouping symbols. Step two, we simplify the exponents. The square of negative six equals negative six times negative six or positive 36. So this expression is equal to two times 36 plus five times negative six minus three. Notice we have multiplication, addition, multiplication, and subtraction. So the next step is to multiply and divide from left to right. So two times 36 is equal to 72. So we have 72 plus five times negative six is negative 30. And then we have minus three. And finally, the last step is to add and subtract from left to right. So 72 plus negative 30 is equal to positive 42. So 42 minus three. And last step, of course, is 42 minus three, which equals 39. So the given expression is equal to 39 for x equals negative six. I hope you found this helpful.